Is there a secret strategy, an unknown hack, a formula to attracting and retaining employees? I don't think there necessarily is, but I know there are key tactics you need to put in place on a daily basis over a long period of time to do exactly that, and I am proof. My goal is to help to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 280. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and we're brought to you by America's Best Restaurants. America's Best Restaurants is on a path to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers. Because infrequent customers don't pay the damn bills and and the same strategies you can use to attract the right customers is also what will attract key employees. So I'm going to keep this podcast to one segment and shorter than normal. And it's not because the topic doesn't warrant a longer discussion. It's because to me, there is one simple step that all of you need to take. And I'm going to tell a story because I'm, a, I'm living proof of this. And I also see a lot of restaurants are living proof of it. I'm at David Scott Peters event last week in Las Vegas. And there's plenty of restaurants there that are not having issues finding or retaining employees. In fact, Avery, one of our clients from Little Italy Restaurante, who I've mentioned numerous times on this podcast, has put in place a lot of the tactics that I'm going to talk that have got me to where I'm going to go. And I'm going to talk about a few of them. And he's crushing it with hiring people. He just doubled the size of his restaurant. I think quadrupled, if I recall, his sales, maybe tripled. And that takes a lot more people. The people are out there. The workforce hasn't changed. What has changed is the expectations and the opportunity for somebody to outshine you. Today, one of our new employees, I got to meet for the first time today, Theo, one of our hosts of ABR, was in the office. He's up from Alabama this week to do some training. And I'm walking around. He had been introduced yesterday when I was at the NRA show in Chicago by John Parker to a lot of the employees. But there were some people today. I walked him around to tell him my vision of the office and introduce him to some people he might not have met. And I just got done telling him a story about how Logan, who's one of our producers for the America's Best Restaurants Roadshow, helps us find and vet the exact restaurants we need to be visiting. And I told him how Logan was two years old when I first met him. He's a twin. We moved in across the street from his parents, who ironically I went to high school with, coincidence, his dad at least. And there's these two little two-year-olds, identical twins. Well, Logan's one of them. And here he is, well, how many ever years later, 20, 21, 22 years later, and he's on our team and he's crushing it. And Theo said, man, it seems like there's a lot of people in this building and in the company that have a connection to you directly. I said, no, you're you're spot on. And I started pointing. I said, Robin went to the same high school as me. Dawn is Doug's sister. Doug, I worked with in radio 21 years ago. John, I met through BNI. We worked out CrossFit together. We did half marathons together. We did Tough Mudders. We became friends. Here he is. And I could literally go around the office. There's so many people like that. And I told him, I said, here's the reason. And I gave a quick story. About a month ago, I had a guy email me and say, Matt, I've got 125 applications that we don't need for sales positions. I saw you're hiring for sales. Would you like me to send them your way? There's no charge or anything. I just will you know, introduce you to these people. And I told him no. And it was in an email. I said, no, and here's the reason. I only want to attract people here that have three-step, three-step process. Number one, they are attracted to Matt Plapp as the leader of where they want to work from a I don't say attracted because my wife would get mad there. Attracted from a standpoint of my leadership style and the culture I'm developing. Number two, attracted to what America's Best Restaurants is on a path to do, revolutionize the independent restaurant world. And then number three, there is a position in the company there for them. And here's the crazy part. I've hired five people in the past year and a half. I didn't hire for a position. There wasn't an opening. Chad Riggler is a good example. We hired somebody else to fill the position Chad applied for, but I could tell he fit our culture, and he was all about what he saw with Matt Plapp, America's Best Restaurants in the company. He said, I'll put me somewhere. Put me in, coach. And guess what? 
here he is still here six, seven months later and absolutely crushing it. So the secret isn't hard. There's a couple things I have seen that have helped us stand out. And one of the key things I'm going to get better at personally is appreciation, is acknowledgement of the people in your business that are making a difference every day. I just booked a trip of a lifetime with my family to go to Greece, going on a cruise, going to Paris, going to Italy. It's going to be the summer. It's awesome. That trip only happened because of the hard work and dedication my team put in. And so this yesterday morning in our company-wide meeting, that was the message. Thank you. Thank you for all of you for being badasses. Thank you for living and dying by what we do with our customers, by over-delivering, by constantly showing up and performing at a very high level. Thank you for caring. And I believe that is one of the biggest elements. And I don't think that customer appreciation, employee appreciation, I said customer, employee appreciation has to always be monetary. Doesn't always have to be some financial gain. It's acknowledgement. And it's genuine appreciation of the people that are helping you do something. We all too often come across businesses that the owner is in it for themselves. It is me, me, me. I see it all the time. Now, behind closed doors, they might treat people differently. I don't know. But I can tell you right now that the many of the restaurants I've worked with over the years, many of the small businesses I know that struggle keep keeping and attracting talent, the owners are jackasses and or they're in it for themselves. So number one, We've all got to have a mission of what we're trying to accomplish. We all have to understand, even myself, I've got to get better at this. We've got to understand that the people on our team are why we are where we are. And we got to do a better job of appreciating them. So another part of this equation, which goes to attracting and retaining people, is your story. There's a lot of jobs out there, especially in the restaurant space. There are Thousands of job and jobs in every city to work at a restaurant. It needs to start at the top. Why do they want to work for you? And the biggest problem of why they don't know they want to work for you is because you're silent. Because you're a ghost. You're a Google ninja. You are not present in your marketing. You are not present in your brand. You are not front and center. And you are not showcasing who you are. When I was in Vegas last week talking to owners... And I'm there. I look a little different how I present myself. I'm there rocking some custom dripped out Air Jordans. Yes, I cuss, I cuss here and there. I act how I want to act. I don't abide by anybody else's rules. Why? Because I want clients and employees to know exactly who they're getting. And it wasn't until I started showcasing that on social media back in 2017, 18, 19. 2008 to 2016, I was somebody else. Yes, I was the Matt Plap. I had the expertise. I had all the marketing stuff. But visually, I was appearing to people in meetings and online how people wanted me to. I was trying to appeal to everybody. I remember thinking, what if a restaurant owner is a preacher and here's how I talk or some of my things I do, he's going to be turned off. I now realize that they're going to be turned off at some point. Might as well get out of the way up front. But at the other side of it, People are going to see that you're a relatable person. That's why I love David Scott Peters. If David Scott Peters was ever to do a, a now hiring post because he was expanding, he would have people flocking to him because he is as, as genuine as they come. He is himself. So the problem is, number one, we talked about appreciation. I think that's an underlying thing we all have to work on. Number one problem is you're not visible. So if I'm wanting to work for you and I don't know you, strike out. You don't even get a chance to start. The next part is they don't clearly understand the vision and the excitement behind your brand. I won't say the brand, but there was a, a fast casual restaurant that we worked with. It was a franchise. And I would get calls from the owners all the time, and the guys would own like multiple locations. They'd have four or five other careers. And they'd say, man, Matt, what's the secret? What's working with hiring? And I, I had a hard time articulating to them that nobody wanted to work at their damn restaurant. 
There is no person they're working for. They're working for XYZ brand. XYZ brand looks like every McDonald's and Wendy's out there. Why do they want that job? They want to work for Avery, the guy they see pouring his heart out into that community and that restaurant online. They want to work for a brand that stands for something, Little Italy Restaurante. And then they get there and they go, hey, hey, coach, I'm here for Avery. I'm here for Little Italy. I'm here for this fam. Where do you need me? And that's what's happening more and more with us. I actually had a conversation with John, one of our COOs this morning. And he's like, dude, somebody's got to get in Staffed Up. Staffed Up is a restaurant software for employees. We use it for our company. And we've gotten pretty bad the last three weeks because we've gotten so many applications. I'm looking at right now 40, if I'm reading this, yeah, 43 applications over the past couple weeks. We don't even have any ads running anywhere. We're not marketing anywhere that we're hiring. Yet I have people on here that have applied for pretty much every single position that we have in our company. Now, where will we be hired? Hell yeah, we'll be hiring. We're always hiring because we're growing. But I can promise you, based on the conversations I have had with the majority of the people that have applied for a job in the past year, I ask them why America's best restaurants. They say, number one, because of you. It looks like a place where I'd want to be. Number one, I can tell that you you hustle, you're on the move, you're growing, you're positive, you're exciting, you have fun. And then I can see the brand growing as well, and I want to be a part of that. And that was a conversation I had last night coming back from Chicago with Max and Peter in the car. I told him, I said, guys, after leaving the pop-up where we hung out with Devin at Crafty Cow for about an hour, that is what we need thousands of is Devin's. He's growth-oriented. He's positive mindset. He's collaborative. I want to work with people just like him because that right there gives me the motivation and energy to want to help more. It's the other people like a client that I'm getting ready to fire tonight that is just, I don't even want to get into it. Their energy suck. They're looking for a weight loss pill. And it's like, you didn't get fat in, in six months. You're not going to get skinny in six months. Your restaurants, sales, and marketing got fat, so to speak, meaning they aren't great. And, you aren't, and they happened over years, not over weeks or months. And so the people that understand the journey that I told my team last night, I said, Peter and Max, we need to find more people that embody Matt Plap. Because if they like our vibe, they like our culture, they're willing to run and gun and do some crazy stuff, then they're going to do some crazy stuff. They're going to do what nobody else realizes. That is who people want to work for. They do not want another job in a restaurant. They want a job for a CEO that gives you shit that they relate to, that they can be motivated by. And they want a brand to stand behind. The job is the last thing on the list. That's all I got. See ya. So as you know, I don't charge for my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you, that's relevant to your restaurant, that you got value from, and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners. And you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.